Welcome back to Let's Talk. This is me, Mira. So the other day, I met my friend, Ria, and I saw her expressions. Her face was really nervous and she was really sad about something. So I asked her, hey, what happened, Ria? What's wrong with you? And Ria said, what did Ria say? Hear me out. Ria said that she was called on the carpet by some of the big wigs. For what? For missing her deadlines. Oh my gosh, now this is getting serious, right? They told her that she was flunky. And if she doesn't start pulling her weight, they are gonna de demote her. Oh my God, to what? To a gopher. And not just that. Guys, they are going to make her work graveyard too. Now, that is really, really crazy and bad, okay? I heard her and I completely empathized with her. I said to her, Rhea, you better get cracking or those slave drivers are going to can you for sure. And you would have to pound the pavement again. Now, I know that we have certain really interesting words and phrases right in front of us, okay? Now, these terms are a little different than our normal language, and we are going to decode all of these. But before that, guys, this video is sponsored by Lingoda. Now, what is Lingoda? Well, Lingoda is an online learning website with native speaking English teachers available for you 24 by 7. When you're at Lingoda, you'd get personalized lesson plans that will help you learn more effectively. I have personally tried a couple of their classes and the teachers are extremely qualified and extremely well spoken. The classes are quite flexible and you can plan them well in advance based on your schedule, you know. You can take a class at Lingoda. The courses are packaged with learning materials covering, you know, grammar vocabulary and exercises which will be for your homework, okay. So, well, the latest addition um, to Lingoda is business English courses that would certainly help you improve your communication and improve your chances to get job, visa, promotion, a great CV, anything that you're aiming at. You know, probably such slang business English language that you would be able to decode. Well, there is more for you. You can check some of the links in the description, but I will tell you more about it in detail towards the end of the lesson, right? So let's get cracking these codes and let's just decode all of this right here first, okay? So let's take a look at this. So first, what did she say? Ria said that she was called on the carpet. Now let's understand what is called on the carpet. It means you've done something wrong. Okay, and people have called you on the carpet. My father calls me on the carpet whenever I do something wrong. What did you understand by this? You are called to be scolded at. So let me just write here. Okay, called on the red carpet means someone's going to scold you for something um, wrong that you have done. In this case, she was talking about her workplace, so she's definitely going to get lectured or scolded by, it's written by whom? By some of the big wigs. Now, think about it. It's actually a nice phrase, you know. The big wigs can be used for positive and negative um, instances and situations. In her case, she's calling her bosses the big wigs, and it's fair, right? people who have great power, great responsibility in their offices and workplace. That means she's talking about her bosses and higher executive managers, right? For what? They're calling her for missing her deadlines. Like I said, being called on the red carpet is no joy. It's usually for something that you've done wrong, right? It's for missing her deadline. Now, we all know we have deadlines. We had deadlines even when we were in school. So she had to complete certain work. Now, 
when you talk about deadlines, you're basically talking about a certain date, a certain day, or maybe a certain time before which you must complete your work, right? And that's a deadline. So because she did not complete her work before her given time, she was called on the red carpet. Savvy, moving further, they told her that she was flunky. Now, what is flunky? It's nothing but being unskilled, being unprofessional, okay? Unskilled or unprofessional and if she doesn't start pulling her weight. Now, what does pulling her weight actually mean, guys? Is it actually meaning to like pull the body weight and move around? No, she's not even that heavy. So what does pulling her weight mean? It just means to share, to whatever the share of work that they've given her, she's supposed to start working on it. She has to make sure that she has to understand she cannot be flunky anymore. She cannot um, fool around anymore. She has to start doing her work. I'll write here. Or what are they going to do? They are going to demote her. Now, guys, what is demote, demoting something? It's the opposite of promotion. Now, promotion is just going up the scale. This is just going down the scale. So, demote her, right? To a gopher. Now, what is a gopher? It means a person who just runs errands and who is made to go from one place to another in the office to do something that is not at all um, that important. So she would be asked to go get coffee or give that paper to someone or submit that, but work of no importance, right? Run to go for means someone who runs errands, right? Not only that, they're gonna make her work graveyard too. Now guys, what is graveyard? Do you know what, um, oh, it's a very, very scary place first of all. I personally don't enjoy being around. I'm sure none of you do. But our normal working hours are nine to five. Yeah, acceptable. But usually when you talk about graveyard, don't you imagine like a 12 in the, uh, you know, 12 at midnight or two after midnight, which is a scary hour. Exactly. So late night, graveyard means late night. There you go. I said it. And these timings are usually really bad. They are um, post midnight. They could be 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. in the morning. That's really crazy, guys. Nobody wants that. Then I said to her that you better get cracking. Now, get cracking or pulling her weight are in the same way. It's just that I mean well, right? So get cracking means nothing but, again, start working. Okay, get to work, start working. It's one and the same. It's just two different ways to say the same thing or those slave drivers. Now, I too am saying the same thing that she has said here, but in a different way, right? The big wigs, she said it in a nice way. And when I talk about slave driver, I talk about mean bosses, right? Mean bosses, bosses who trouble their employees, right? I really hope that you don't have mean bosses around you. Well, her mean bosses are gonna can her for sure. Can is nothing but a short form of cancel. And can you for sure, can her for sure means nothing but fire. She would get fired. That means she'd get laid off. She would lose her job, you guys. And you, she would have to pound the pavement again. So when you imagine this phrase, you're, you know, pounding some pavement, which means getting back to square one, starting to look for another job, okay? Pounding the pavement means 
looking for a new job which is a task in itself okay it's a very very troublesome task to go through the whole process all over again and this was the conversation that took place between the both of us she shared certain details which i thought was so funny yet so serious because they were um, about her work and i gave her my share of advice now as you can see we have already decoded a lot of business english language right here some of them do have the same meaning but said it in a different way please make sure that you know these downs if at all you get a chance to use them but in the most decent fashion okay well these were your business english slang phrases and words for the day like i promised i'm going to share more details with you about lingoda right so here goes well guys lingoda has always been a great platform to learn english and now with their latest addition to lingoda which is business english courses i'm sure that this is going to certainly help people to improve their communication skills and you know better their chances to get a new job get a visa or promotion or anything that you're aiming at professionally the new business english course comes with 90 online group classes which would be taken over a period of 6 months okay with um a one off payment payment of 1179 dollars or 999 pounds well what you could do is you could sign up for a trial class which lasts just for an hour with the native teacher but paying a small deposit which is going to be refundable and refunded back if you attend the class this prize is worth as you're learning from qualified english native teachers as you're a let's talk subscriber you are going to get a 50 dollar discount on your first payment don't forget to use the link and the voucher code mentioned in the description box below so guys give it a try and let me know your experience in the comment section below i would be waiting for it right so that's all for today guys this is me mira signing off for the day bye